Blake with the Three Hand Hunter channel, and I am glad that you're here for Ad Hoc episode, Ad Hoc Horology, excuse me, episode number four. Um, you know, this is kind of an improvised, off the cuff discussion about something cool, horology related. So if you like these episodes, make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of these this content, and let's get into it. So. You're probably looking at this watch saying, oh, Blake, that's the Seiko SRPK17. Uh, that's the 55th anniversary uh, Seiko 5 reissue from 1968. The answer to that is correct. Now, this isn't a full review because I don't need to do a full review. There's, there's a thousand reviews on this watch. It's cool. That's why so many people own it. But what you're gonna notice is something's missing off of this watch the original bracelet. Why? Have I not even pulled it out of the plastic or the plastic off the, the tops of this, this bracelet? Because look at the articulation in this thing. I mean, do you want to wear that on your wrist? I mean, it doesn't even, I mean, that's, it, you, it doesn't even articulate. It doesn't, doesn't articulate at all. So I pulled it off, sat it aside, and guess what I have on my Seiko 5? A fish link or excuse me, a fishbone bracelet. Now, you're probably thinking, well, Blake, that's cool. It's a vintage bracelet. But vintage bracelets aren't in <laughs> inexpensive and they're very hard to find. You're right, they are. But AliExpress sell the, sells these for $17. $17 for this this bracelet, now it is very much a vintage style bracelet. It feels like a vintage bracelet. It feels like an old Seiko vintage, vintage bracelet, but it's $17. What an amazing upgrade to this Seiko 5. I put a link in the description down below for the $17 bracelet. I have no affiliation with AliExpress. I just thought it was the coolest thing to really spruce up the Seiko 5 which is very popular for, for, for a lot of reasons. I mean, I, look, I like limited edition watches. Uh, that's why you'll see this, uh, this Seiko limited edition watch right here. But this is a much different limited edition release. This one has 15,555 pieces. This one has 300. Yeah, that's what makes this one really, really, really cool. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and set that back down and I will do a review on that watch. I've been promising to do one, uh, but that was from several, like seven or eight years ago. Anyway, um, I just wanted to share this with you because if you really wanted to make your, your Seiko 5 55th anniversary really pop, try it on this, uh, this fishbone bracelet. Now I'm gonna take the wrist, uh, the watch that I have on my wrist, which is a Draken Akori, a Rocky, a Rocky, I think it is. Now I'm gonna do a review on this one too. There's a reason why I bought this watch. It's a really neat field watch. Make sure you stick around because you're gonna get, not today, but I'll be doing a review video of this watch soon. Uh, the, like I said, there's a reason why I bought this watch. I'll be back. Now this is a Seiko 5, 55th anniversary on the fishbone bracelet. How cool does that look? And how comfortable is it? Now, I wanna share one thing with you about this bracelet. You notice the links? I had to pull out a couple of links because that is uh, you know, what I had to do. Now, let me zoom in here really quick so you can see these links. Now, the way the links set is they, 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 they have like the, these diagonal, diagonal, <laughs> diagonal, diagonal, uh, edges, all right, and they, they come in towards the, the piece that lays on your wrist. It's very easy to kind of flip them over and go, oh, but it, the bracelet would fit so much better if it was like this, but there, that it wouldn't lead for any articulation and probably pull some arm hairs. This doesn't pull any arm hairs whatsoever. So the larger surface goes on the outside. The larger surface goes on the outside and the smaller surface goes on the inside. Uh, these links are very, very easy to remove. It's just like these uh, these pins, and it's not even a pin and collar system. It's it's just a little cheap pin that you push in and then you pull out with pliers. Um, but just like an old vintage uh, Seiko bracelet, that's really what it's like. And, but let me just show you exactly what those links look like so you can see them. 
on the, on the watch. Anyway, guys, I know this is a quick video, but I hope you appreciated that, especially for those of you that own this really fun Seiko re-release. It's probably one of the most popular releases of 2023. Uh, there were, uh, you know, the Seiko 5s with the GMTs are obviously very popular themselves, but this watch has really gained in popularity and a lot of you own. So hopefully this will give you some ideas moving forward. Now, I also want to say if you've made it this far, let me introduce myself. My name is Blake. I'm a bit of a watchaholic, as you can obviously see. So if you made it this far, you're probably a watchaholic too. So, <laughs> so please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of these ad hoc horology episodes. And I will see you guys in the next video.